Hey there friends, let's make an awesome holiday card. Start by naming it holiday card and hit file save. The beauty of this lesson is I'm going to teach you how to switch backdrops. So start by right clicking and getting rid of that cat. Move to your first backdrop by clicking on it once and then clicking backdrops. We can keep the name backdrop 1, but we've got to switch to vector bitmap. At that point, grab a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and fill it with a holiday color. Uh, I'm making a Thanksgiving card, so I'm going to fill it with orange. And then I'm going to make the outside of the cover with another rectangle that's about the same size. Simply drag and draw it. And I'm going to fill it with something else. I want to fill it with this dark brown. Once you get your color picked, click the paint can, fill it, and then we need to make it look like that it's a card about to open. And we do that by clicking the reshape tool, and we stretch that up, and we stretch that up. So now the card looks like it's ready to open. I just have to move these so that they connect to the card. So now it looks like it's a card that is almost ready to open. The more you have it straight up and down, the more nifty it looks. But you've got a card that's pretty sweet. To make the inside of the card, we simply right click and duplicate that one. Notice it'll be called Backdrop 2. And now we can simply grab our brown card with the reshape tool and move it to its open, which would be if it was flipped to the other side. Just connect those corners so that it looks like it was opened. And boom, oops. This is why they create undo. And boom, you get your card in open mode. With our two backdrops, it's time to add some cool words. Let's do that by painting a sprite. Once again, go into vector mode, click your text tool, and let's type happy. When you're done typing it, you can stretch it, arrange it so it shows up where you want. I'm going to want it on the other backdrop. So I'm going to real quickly switch to backdrop 1 so it's showing up where I really want it. Now when I go back to my sprite, I just need to fill it with a different color so that it's visible on the screen. There it shows up. If I go back to my move tool, I can now nudge it to where it would look good on the card. And then I can rotate it so it looks like the card is waiting to be opened. I'm going to use that same technique to add another word. There's my tool. Convert to vector. Notice your tools come to the right when you're in vector mode. I'm going to type my Thanksgiving. I'm going to leave the font the same. I'm going to click. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to move. I'm going to rotate. And bam, I've got a nifty little happy Thanksgiving card. And now I just need to make a way to get to the inside of it. Here's how easy it is. Paint yourself a new sprite. Let's go to vector mode again. Let's type, click here to open, and let's put a rectangle under it so that it's easier for the people to click. So if you draw a rectangle above it, fill it with a different color. I'm going to do the orange again. And when you paint it, notice it's in front, but it's real easy to fix that by clicking the move it back choice. When you have the select tool clicked. So I'm going to select that shape, and I'm going to move it to the back. And there's my click here to open. I'm going to take those two items, and I'm going to choose group once I've selected them both. So I grab both, and that allows you to group them. And I'm going to click down here. Let's click back on our stage backdrop, and let's add some scripts there. Real quickly, we want the when clicked, and we want when it's clicked for a screen to pop up. We want to make sure that it switch, switches to backdrop 1. That way the card is back to the main screen. And then we can click on our stop and start button to see that it automatically goes back to that screen. And now we need to build our click here to open. So click on sprite 3. And then on his scripts, we want to give an event that says when this sprite is clicked. And when it's script, uh, clicked, we need to do a few things. The easiest, of course, 
is switched to the next backdrop. So let's get to backdrop two. But then we needed to hide those words. And let's do that with events by broadcasting a message. And we're going to make a new message called hide. And then to make that work, we're just going to go to the word Thanksgiving. And we're going to give him an event called when I receive hide. And when he does receive hide, we need to switch to hide mode. Let's drag that into our backpack. And let's go to the happy page. And we want him to, when he receives hide, to hide as well. If we do stop and start, you can see that that first one is hidden. When I click here to open, they come back. Hopefully you notice there that we need to add a piece of code to this. So what we're going to do is when uh, the flag is clicked, we're going to send another message. And this time we're going to broadcast show. Drop in the first one and change it to new message and call it show. Move back to the word Thanksgiving. Make sure you're on that script. Bring up your old piece, but take away the hide. Right click, delete it. Change it to show. So when he receives show, you're going to go to looks and it's going to show that piece. We can put that in the backpack, switch to the Happy Thanksgiving Sprite. We're still in our scripts, and bam. We have now got a card that when we hit Stop and Start, Happy Thanksgiving appears. And when you hit click here to open, it goes to the inside. We need to give this the show and hide as well, which is as easy as grabbing the sprite. And then in the scripts page of that sprite, Bring up your exact same show and exact same hide, and then test it. When we hit stop and start, boom, the card opens. We click here to open, and we're on the inside. And you can quickly create your new sprite for what you want to say on the inside. Once again, vector, text. I'm just going to add gobble gobble, and I'm going to let you guys do all the work to make yours as creative as it can be. We need to quickly add his scripts, but this is so slick. His scripts are these scripts. We just have to invert them. When he gets hide, he needs to show. And when he gets show, he needs to hide. Stop. Start. Happy Thanksgiving. Click to open. Gobble, gobble. Now you could use all your skills to add super cool sprites that work uh, that move you can add more sounds everything is an option now that you've gotten to this point i'm going to quickly find a super cute little song by hitting music loops i'm going to be super silly and play the birthday song but hopefully that gives you an idea of how you could use this to make a birthday song for somebody and once i've got that in the project then i can go to scripts and i'm going to have it when it receives hide not only is it going to show but it's going to play the song birthday bells but only when this one receives it so let's test it quick stop start closed open plays music how epic is that thanks for following along please don't stop make yours unbelievably incredible and share the cool things you create like comment and subscribe